Oh shit. Oh, what happened? I broke a glass. Where in the hell have you been? At Kathy's watching that movie I told you about. I told you I would be about 15 minutes late. You're 30 minutes late, not 15. I'm sorry, I left as soon as the movie was over mom. You lying little bitch. Where in the hell were you? I know you're lying. Answer me now. Tell me the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Please stop. Mom, stop. Leave her alone. She isn't lying. Stop. Go to your damn room. I will think up some punishments. Now go. And you, keep your damn mouth shut. And remember what I told you. If you ever tell a teacher, a cop or a friend or anyone, that things are not good at home, or about a fight, they will take you, away, and put you, in the jail in terrible foster homes. So you better think twice. It's you, that will get punished, not me. I know, I never say anything. What the hell is going on here? Why did she just run upstairs crying? Oh these little bastards, are driving me crazy. Come on now, don't talk like that. That's awful. Don't be going overboard on these kids, and I mean it. Oh, you're Mr. Perfect, huh? You're never even here to help with anything. All you do is work, sleep, eat, work, sleep, eat. You don't know anything about raising kids. You're pathetic. You can't even wash a dish. You can go to hell, go to hell. I'm not gonna listen to this stuff. Take that, asshole. <laughs> Are you awake? Yes, come on in. Are you okay? I'm glad you're back. I wish you would take me with you when you go. I could never do that Vi, she would probably charge me with kidnapping. So where did you go? I just hid out at Kathy's house, and mom sent the cops there, to get me as a runaway. Oh, wow. Violet, don't ever run away, because mom is right. Even though I told them, that things were good at home, they still took me to a juvenile jail and had me locked in a room for three days. And we thought she was worse before, but now that she drinks, it is ten times worse. She wasn't here a lot before either. She had all those therapy appointments and groups she went to. Oh, and don't forget all the hospital stays, 30 days at a time, when she would talk her doctor into admitting her to get a 30-day evaluation for depression. Yeah, she called them her vacation away from us and dad. She did that for about three, four years, I think. She has way more than depression going on with her. I don't remember much about when she was gone then, or even the babysitters we had. You probably blocked a lot of it out, you were pretty young then. Violet, I know you cannot help it, because of being abducted and all. But please try hard, not to wet the bed. You see how angry the gets her. And that worries me. I do try, I try real hard, I pray every night, for it to stop. I know. I know you do. We just can't give her any reason to get mad. I feel bad for you, I get to leave in a year when I am 18, and our brother is already gone. But you still have years of this and she's worse. We better get to bed, we have school tomorrow. Okay, good night. The next morning. Oh my gosh, Violet. I told you to get ready 20 minutes ago. Ooh, I'm sorry, I fell back asleep. Where is mom? 
she drank last night, she is passed out, on the couch? Please get ready, I have to catch the late bus now. If everyone is done, please pass your papers forward. See you all tomorrow, don't forget your homework, and your school pictures that came in today. And Violet, I would like to talk to you, when everyone has left please. Okay Miss Carla. Wait for me, Carrie. Boola Hugh, what did you want to talk to me about, Miss Carla? Well, why don't we go sit down at your desk? Okay. So, um, I was wondering, why you were late again, today? Oh, um, uh, the alarm clock didn't go off. Yes, you said that, the other two times this week you were late also. Um, Violet, is everything okay, at home? Oh yes, things are great at home, we all get along great. Do you have a bedtime? And get enough sleep? Yes, Miss Carla, and my mom gets me up every morning, unless the alarm didn't go off or she is in the hospital, on vacation. On vacation? At a hospital? Yep. Is there anything else, Miss Carla? She doesn't like me getting home late. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I have a letter for your mom. Don't read it. It's important. Make sure she gets it, okay? Okay, I will give it to her. Carrie, wait up. I'm so happy. Our pictures are here today. I can't wait to see them. Oh, no. I forgot about the letter from Miss Carla. I don't know what it says, unless it's about what she asked me. I can't let Mom think I said anything. She will kill me. I have to read the letter. I hate doing this, but I don't want Mom mad at me. Dear Miss Longhorn, I'm Violet's teacher. I'm writing you because her grades have been slipping. She is tidy a lot and seems tired. Is everything okay at home? You may want to check, as she seems like something is bothering her. Thank you. Miss Carla. I can't let mom read this. She will think I said something. No way. <laughs>